Earlier today, JSO arrested Correctional Officer Derek Scott for child abuse of a non-sexual nature, a third-degree felony. Yesterday afternoon, the JSO Integrity Unit began an investigation pertaining to Officer Scott when the agency was notified of potential criminal allegations. Very early this morning, Officer Scott was arrested. Currently, our investigators are working with prosecutors at the state's attorney's office on this pending criminal case. As a matter of background, Officer Scott has been employed, been employed by JSO for four and a half years. His date of hire was September 24th, 2018. Officer Scott immediately resigned upon his arrest this morning. He is no longer employed by JSO. This is an active criminal case with a child victim, so there's limited information with which I can provide you at this time. The following was the summation of the facts which support Officer Scott's arrest. As I said yesterday, the child victim reported an injury at school. The child victim and other relevant witnesses were interviewed by detectives. Additionally, medical professionals examined the child victim. And based on probable cause garnered through witness interviews and medical evidence, detectives arrested Officer Scott. I recognize that the summation provides very little for our public when it comes to details. I'm providing such limited details not out of concern for Officer Scott, but rather because I want to ensure that the privacy of the child victim's rights are observed. This is the third arrest of a JSO employee by this agency in 2023. In 2022, 10 JSO employees were arrested for criminal offenses. As I've said before, we never relish arresting an employee of this agency. However, our collective belief in transparency and individual uh, accountability outweighs any personal allegiance. Our children are our treasured gifts and we all mourn when a child is victimized. This agency will always professionally handle our investigations, exhibiting neither prejudice nor favoritism based on a suspect's identity. No one, and I say again, absolutely no one, is above the law. This is a cornerstone principle of an organized and just society. And JSO will always be governed by the rule of law and never by personal sentiments. Now, I'll take any questions that you may have at this time. Thank you.